By now, we know what to do if we're given an equation with only one letter in it, like 2x minus 7 equals 3. We add 7 to both sides of the equation to get 2x equals 10, and then divide both sides by 2. Bam! x equals 5. We know how to do that. But what if we're given equations with two variables? What do we do then? This is Gaussian elimination in plain English. So say we have x plus 2y equals negative 7 and 2x minus 3y equals 0. If we're going to use Gaussian elimination to solve that, we're going to make this general form. Now, I know this looks complicated, but let's go through it. The first column is x. The second is y. And the third is whatever number that equals. R1, the first row, is the first equation. R2, the second row, is the second equation. Now, we're just going to be dealing with the numbers from our equations, not the letters. Now, let's start with the first one. You may be thinking, wait, x doesn't have a number in front of it. But we have to remember that when a number is not there, it means it's 1. So if we're going to take the numbers from the first equation, we're going to put them in the first row. So under x, we put 1. Under y, we put 2. And under the number, we put negative 7. For the second equation, under x, we put 2. y, negative 3. And the number is 0. Now, with Gaussian elimination, there's a general form that we want to get our problem to look like. We want to, we want to go from this to something that looks like this. Notice that there's a 1 in the x spot of R1 and a 0 in the x spot of R2, as well as a 1 in the y spot of R2. Now, notice we're already part way there we have the 1 in the right place. Our next step is to get our 2 to be a 0. How are we going to do that? Well, if we use negative 2 times the first row and add that to the second row, that should do the job. So let's take negative 2 times the first row. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And negative 7 times negative 2 is positive 14. Now if we add that to the second row, we're going to get negative 2 plus 2, 0. Negative 4 minus 3, negative 7. 14 plus 0, 14. Now, we're going to replace what we had in the second row with this new equation and put what we did next to it so we don't forget. But we're not quite where we want to be yet. We need to get our negative 7 to be 1. We can do that by multiplying the second row by negative one seventh. So that gives us zero times negative one seventh, zero. Negative seven times negative one seventh, one. Fourteen times negative one seventh gives us negative two. Again, we're going to replace our second row with what we've just done and record what we did to it. So now we see that we didn't change the first row, and with the second row, 
we multiplied the first row by negative 2 and added that to the second row, and then multiplied the second row by negative 1 7. But what does this mean? What have we just done? Well, let's go back to how we originally had our problem with our letters. We didn't change the first equation, so we still have x plus 2y equals negative 7. But what about our second equation? Now we have y equals negative 2. Hey, wait! We just solved for y. Now we can take the value we got for y and just put it in to the first equation. This is called substituting. Now we simplify what we have by multiplying 2 and negative 2 to get negative 4. Now wait, isn't this something we've already done? Add 4 to both sides, and we get that x is equal to negative 3. Now we've solved for x as well. So, by using Gaussian elimination, we found that x equals negative 3, and y equals negative 2.